The Emerald Isle, BC, before Charlton, represented the dark ages of Irish football. They've been competing for 60 years with nothing to show for it. But since Big Jack took over in February 1986, they've been relishing all the trappings of success. Germany, 88, the European Championships, centre stage for the first time. Overawed? Not at all. Big uh, English defenders up there, Mark Wright it was, Sanson. Only got a half touch to it, under a lot of pressure here. Hampton! Italy 1990, their first World Cup finals, just there to make up the numbers, certainly not. The Irish fans did themselves proud and so did the team, all the way to the last eight and Rome's Olympic Stadium. Eventually, Giannini to Donadoni! Hello there. Well, after the fanfares and the friendlies, it's down to the serious business of international football again today. We're concerned with Group 7, that's England's group, and it kicks off at Lansdowne Road in Ireland this afternoon with the Republic of Ireland against Turkey. Jimmy Greaves is here with us in the studio. I think, Jim, that uh, it goes without saying Ireland have got to win this, but it could be decisive in just less than 18 months' time by how many they win it. Yeah, goal difference obviously counts quite a lot, Elton. But I think the, the key to it is what you just said, they've got to win it. And that's never easy. The Turks have got bottle. They disorganise themselves a little bit, but one would expect with this uh, Irish side that they would win. Um, but it's got to be won. That's the key to it. That is the number one priority. Not by how many, but let's get the two points in the bag. Jim, that's very much the pre-match talking point, isn't it? The Irish side, because we, we've only just heard of a very late yes, change we have as indeed, we look at yeah. it. Uh, Chris Hewton coming in for Paul McGrath. Reasons we know not why. Reasons we know not why. We suspect it's probably um, maybe a bit of wear and tear on the knees. I don't think it's going to make a lot of difference. I don't think the Turks are going to come at the Irish uh, too keenly. Chrissy Hewton's more than capable of filling the role. Uh, I think the onus is going to be on the boys up front, Quinn and Aldridge, and the midfield, who are all in a bit of form at the moment. Sheridan's knocking them in. That's um, right. I mean, people could talk about it, Ireland's up and atom style, Jim, but that is a midfield, the one we've just seen there, that, that is, there's one that wants the ball. It's not a midfield that you want to bypass, is it? Actually, it's a class midfield. Mm. I mean, when you look at the names there, Hewton, uh, Sheridan, Townsend, uh, you know, you're looking, you're looking at top quality players. And Steve Staunton now, who we assume will be going into the midfield position. You're looking at really class players who would want to knock it about. So I agree with you. I'm not so sure whether it will be up and over. I think they might play their way exactly. into good attacking positions. The key to it is that they're all playing very well at the moment. Briefly, Jim, uh, Jack has said this week that uh, the World Cup is his priority, possibly at the expense of the European Championships. Do you think that's a little well, bit of kidology by the old fella? Yeah, of course it is. The old boy <laughs> would love to win the European nations as much as anybody else would. I mean, of course, it's, it's at the moment, the European Nations trophy is priority. Whatever anybody says, they'd all like to win that one now because that's the eminent one two years from now, Sweden. Apparently, Jack was a little bit tetchy this week as well, and he, he tends to say things he possibly doesn't really mean when he's in one of his moods. Ah, oh, well, when Jack gets... He, Jack could be all right. After the game, he'll go and do a bit of fishing and he'll do, go, go and have a pint with the lads and you know it'll all be over and, and, and he'll be back to normal again. You know Jack. Yeah, we all know Jack. Well, near enough a sellout crowd at Lansdowne Road this afternoon for this European Championship qualifier in Group 7, the first of the Group 7 matches. It's the Republic of Ireland against Turkey. Our commentators there are Liam Brady and Brian Moore. Thanks a lot, Elton. A damp and a dull day in Dublin, but expectations here are very high. That dramatic late change that uh, you heard about in the Republic of Ireland side, Paul McGrath just this moment heard that his left knee has been playing him up a little bit, and that Jack Charlton was afraid of letting the Turks know too much about it too early. Uh, what we figure is that uh, Steve Staunton might well play on the left side of midfield, Chris Hewton at the left back, two centre defenders, David O'Leary and Nick McCarthy, Ray Houghton wide on the right side of midfield, and we we'll see how they work it out. Up front, we do know that Niall Pin and John Aldridge are the two men looking for the goals. And just a reminder of the Turkish side.